Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Audio Camp Shaman Studio here in Bordeaux, France. Um, I'm Leroy, and I'm gonna talk about miking drums, okay? We're gonna use a lot of different mics, and we're gonna give you some alternative uh, microphones to use later on in the video. All right, all right. We got a real drummer in the house. We got Ramy playing drums. He's gonna be kicking the beats for us. And he's gonna also help me demonstrate how to measure the room mics, okay? So let's continue. Okay, so as you can see, we got several mics here on the drums. And the first thing we're gonna do is put two microphones on the kick, three microphones on the snare, one on the hi-hat. And we got, each tom has an individual microphone. And we have three overhead microphones and three room microphones. So I'm gonna start with the kick drum first. Okay, so let's start off with the first two kick mics. We got a um, D12, this is an AKG, and we have the RE20 over here. And I'm gonna point the D12 at the, the beater, and I'm gonna try to keep two, the both mics at the same distance apart for phase issues. Okay, so as you can see here, we got a special technique. We're using the Classic 57 on the snare, and we're also using the AKG 451. This is a condenser mic. This usually gives you a great sound. Okay, so um, for the snare, we have a bottom mic. That mic is a 57. The key to this is to check your phasing on your table or your sound card. And also, don't aim it directly at the top mic. So that should, usually that will work. On the hi-hat, we have the um, Shure SM81. For the two top toms, we're gonna use the um, 57, and we're gonna aim them at the center of the tom so we can get more bass frequencies. So that should do that. Here on the um, floor tom, you can see that we got a Sennheiser 421. And I like the um, 421 on the um, floor tom because it's giving me um, a lot more bass frequency. Okay, so um, I got my main man, Elliot, here from Audio Camp. He's a technician and he's gonna help me measure these microphones, these overhead microphones. Okay, so let's start with the snare. What we're gonna do is the center of the snare will be our, our placement of the microphone. So he's gonna do that. And I think, how much we got, 112 120. centimeters. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing for the next microphone. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna put that two at the same and we already got that, that looks pretty good. That's also 112. The reason why we're doing this is because we're trying to fix all the phase issues. And we're gonna go over here and that looks good too. Now the next thing is we need to put this microphone a little bit over the toms and a little bit over the snare so we can get some of the snare and the cymbals, not just cymbals. We move it back, we're gonna get more cymbals. That way we're gonna get more, too much snare. And over here we get a little bit of everybody. The same thing went over here. We divide the drums into two, stereo. Right here we're gonna get, this microphone is responsible for this area. And that microphone is responsible for the, um, the right side of the drummer, okay? Okay, so we got um, three microphones here. We got um, two AKGs, one on the left, one on the right, and we have a U87 that's in the middle. All right, so let's take a measurement of those. Let's start with the, um, the U87 in the middle. Okay, so this looks like this is about 350 centimeters, and let's try to make the, um, the two AKGs the same distance. And as you can see here, we have the same, 350, and that one's gonna be 350 centimeters too. Okay. So they look pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna use the U87 as a center mic, and we're gonna measure the distance between that and the AKG. And we got 106 yeah. centimeters, right? Right. And so let's do the same over there. Make sure we got 100 in center. 106 again? Yeah, the same. Okay, so now we need to measure from the bottom to the top, and we have 150. And something is very important with the microphones. The microphone is actually right there, the center, and then right here is actually where the microphone is. It's, this is just a casing. Let's do the same thing here, Elliot. You got it? Yep. Same thing, this one is at the center at 150, and we're gonna do the same thing over. This is 150 also. So now the most important thing is like, well, you should listen to the drummer because the drummer will tell you where you should put the mic placement. Like if the drummer was playing very soft on the kick drum, we would probably lower it a little bit. But since he's kind of even with the way he's playing, we can just leave it right here and it should work pretty good. Okay, so don't forget to listen to the drummer. 